Hi everyone, welcome to my first Clean With Me, where I show you my vacuuming procedure after a performance test. Always use this air purifier, it's a blue air, I don't know what model it is. See how much dust has been caking on the exterior of the filter. That's the state of my filter now. These filters have no seals around them. It's just that underneath the multi unit, which isn't sealed either. Oh yeah, there's the information by the way, it's a blue air model. 3610. It's horrendous. It's got good airflow, but it blows dust out of these vents. See how these vents are dirty? I don't even know why I still use this thing. I need a good air purifier, but I still use it for some reason. I don't know why, but look at all this dust. Horrendous. For this cleanup, I'm going to be using my Shark Anti-Hair App with Duo Clean. I've got freshly clean filters in here and the bin is empty as well. So here I am with the Shark Hoover, putting the dusting brush on as you can see. And this is the part I really hate because Cleaning those leather sofas is an absolute nightmare. I have to get in all the areas with the dusting brush and it's really jarring, you know. It's harder than it looks, especially with the angle of the dusting brush and everything. I don't even know why I use a shark, to be honest. I think it's mainly because of the suction control and how it's just so versatile. It has got good ease of use, to be fair. Now, I could use a Dyson Ball Animal, but the main reason I don't use that is because of the attachments. I prefer the attachments on the shark, to be honest. And it's not even just the attachments, it's just the whole... You know, using the wand and hose, it's so much easier on the shark. Even though the hose is shorter, I find it more, well, slightly more of a faff on the Dyson. So yeah, as you saw, I'm literally hoovering the table now, the TV, the doors, the, you know, the frames around the door. What are they called? Skating board, door frames, whatever they are. Literally everything you can think of. And now for everyone's favourite part, the carpet vacuuming. This is the most satisfying part. And right here, right now, this is the part where I vacuum really, 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 really thoroughly. I've got this on maximum speed, yeah? And you can see that it still looks like I'm vacuuming slow because that's how thorough I'm being, all right, with the shark. Now, I feel like I should do a video of this at some point, but you know when I vacuum with the shark, I think it was after a... I can't remember what vacuum it was when I did a performance test, but after that performance test, it left a load of dirt behind. And the shark picked up a good amount of dirt when I really vacuumed thoroughly, just like this, the way you're seeing it right now. But the next day, I went over the same area with the DCL4, right? Tell me how the DCL4 picked up more than the shark picked up after the performance test. Isn't that crazy? So, as of then, I felt like the shark is no longer a deep cleaner. I just still like using it because of its ease of use. But I no longer classify it as a deep cleaner because this is a low pile carpet and I still couldn't manage that. And the shark's meant to be this new technology modern vacuum as well. And yes, I did keep the filters clean. I had clean filters in the Hoover before I started off. The shark has got a way better brush bar and a separate motor that drives the brush bar compared to the DCR4. But at this point, I'm convinced that the Duo Clean design is nowhere near as good as one without Duo Clean because how has a DCL4 picked up more than a modern shark? It makes no sense other than a suction seal. Anyways, after all that hoovering, this is what the shark has picked up after the Bissell Power Force, what's it called? Clean View. Yeah, that's what it is. And now I'm going over the same area with the DCL4. This has had a clean bin to start off with. So whatever's in the bin, yeah is what the shark has left behind and you've seen how thorough i've been with the shark as well it's had a clean filter twice throughout that vacuuming process one at the beginning and one about halfway through vacuuming so it's had a really fair chance all right it's got newer technology a separate brush bar motor a way better brush bar than the dcl4 and you know it's just meant to be better isn't it because it's like a good 25 years newer than the dcl4 and i am fully aware that the Whatever vacuum goes last always wins, but surely that is a lot of dirt, especially on a low pile carpet vacuumed with a well maintained shark that's not even, well, it's only a few months old. And how the DCL4 picked up that much grit, it just goes to show that the shark isn't that good of a deep cleaner, especially seeing as how I've vacuumed in multiple directions thoroughly. And the DCL4 still picked up that. I love shark vacuums, but the duo clean ones I can't get along with for deep cleaning. And let's not forget the shark's dirt was on the floor as well, visibly.